It will be a generic class and the generic type will indicate the type of the contained element. Of course, this class will be a kind of I enumerable. And now comes the fundamental part. Any object will either contain one element or no elements. This constraint will be enforced by two public constructors which strictly limit use of the class. These are the only possibilities – give one value or give none. The next step will be to unite these two constructors into one uniform flow. I will define a private constructor which can serve both of the public constructors. Now we can simply call this private constructor from both of the public constructors and complete their implementation. Well, this gives the idea to turn the public constructors into static factory methods that will improve the readability of this class. This factory method provides service when there is an element to put into the option. The second factory method will carry even more meaning for its name. Now, the name says it all. This method creates an empty option. The final touch will be to implement ienumerable functionality. I'm just delegating the calls to the contained array. Array implements ienumerable interface, so this should work fine. This is the minimalistic implementation of the option type in C-sharp. This type represents objects that implement ienumerable and at the same time come with guarantee that the sequence they represent will not contain more than one element. Now we can use the option type in interfaces that use to return optional objects. This is the method which looks up the product based on its name. Instead of returning i enumerable from this method, we will return an option of product. The contract of this repository has become much stronger. Interface is now coming with guarantee that no more than one product will ever be returned. To emphasize this added constraint, I like to prepend try to names of methods that return options. Now let's see the implementation side. We used to return an array with the one element in positive case. Now we turn this into the option. In a negative case, we will return an empty option instead of an empty array. This concludes the use of the option type in the product repository.